Okay, this is the video review of the TomTom Tom Home software that comes with uh, what I assume to be all TomTom Tom devices, but also with the the uh, 325 SE that I purchased. So you go ahead and you plug in your TomTom Tom device. Uh, it comes with a USB cable. You just plug it in the bottom there. Power it on. And you tell it you want to connect to the computer. Hit yes. In a few seconds, you should get a screen saying it's connected. Do not disconnect. Yeah, there it goes. So, uh, picks it up and then it goes and checks for, for updates. Just adjust the screen here a little bit. Shouldn't find any updates. I just had it connected to the uh, computer about 20 minutes ago, and I got everything. So it shouldn't shouldn't find anything. But I think we have to wait for it. Yeah. So I found nothing. But um, it's a pretty easy update process. They're there. Um, it, it usually gives you GPS fix and map updates that people have made and uh, occasionally device updates. There hasn't been any for this device yet though, so. Uh, they're easy to install. You can check off which ones you don't want and which ones you want, and then you hit update down here in the corner, and it just does it all by itself, which is nice. Hit back. Uh, software, pretty easy to use. Uh, haven't, re haven't really messed around with it that much. The GPS has mainly been in the car, but um, you can add maps, and it goes out uh, the internet and finds out uh, do I want to update my current map no I don't want to pay for that right now uh, you can choose maps you can choose Canada Alaska uh, and different countries and then you can also uh, appear uh, no can I turn that off no I can't but uh, you can actually uh, search up here in the corner too which is cool uh, for if you need like a specific country or something, you can just search for it right there. Uh, you can add uh, traffic. Uh, you can get live traffic if you have a an add-on uh, right to the device. You can get safety cameras. Uh, you can add points of interest, which I didn't even notice that before, but um, oh, different different places I think that people create like you can add 7-elevens uh, AAA places uh, Ace Hardware stores in California which is which is pretty cool uh, if they're not already preloaded into the device uh, you can also add live services if you had uh, fuel prices and if you had, oh it's not even supported on my device never mind um, you can add fuel prices, uh, you can change the color right on the device, which is, which is cool. Uh, change your icons if you noticed. Um, uh, my previous video I had the Mario Kart as my, as my car, which is, which is cool. You can change it. Uh, you can submit your own, and you can make your own, I guess, with, with Photoshop and whatnot, and, and uh, and change it, which is cool. Um activation code probably something for if you had something for maps uh, I know you can buy map cards in, at Walmart uh, I saw them uh, you can hit update root planner you can just uh, you know, actually it launched my browser I don't know what that oh so you can actually go ahead and punch in um, let me back up here a little bit so you can actually punch in the directions right on uh, TomTom's website, and then I guess it, it downloads it to uh, to your device, which is which is cool, and and actually know that that existed. But um, um, what else? You can read the manual right on your computer for the, the specific device. You can manage it. Uh, so. You can manage uh, voices you have installed, maps, apps, and car symbols, and whatnot. 
And it also shows you how much uh, free memory you have uh, available on the device. Uh, you can back up. You can you can actually operate the TomTom Tom right from your computer. Uh, it didn't didn't work out too well the first time I tried it. So let's see if it works any better this time. And it doesn't seem to be. Is it working? Is it is it not? Oh, there it goes. Um, current location. Yeah, right. Yeah. You can see it works. Uh, actually, it seems to be working better than the first time I tried it. It wasn't it wasn't doing too hot. It was real laggy and whatnot, but and it still doesn't seem to be working great. I can't actually see the the roads or anything right here either. But it works. Not well, but it works. Done. Uh, you can find accessories. Is there anything else? No, that's it. Um, overall, the software is pretty cool. Uh, I wish there was an option that you can make map corrections in the software and, and have more uh, control over specific areas that you need to do. Because as I said on the device, it's really really clunky uh, you're limited to predefined areas of the road you can't actually set your own um, as far as I'm aware anyway and uh, if uh, someone knows different then please let me know so I can uh, change the speed limit on my main highway from 50 to 40 where it changes so people aren't getting caught by the cops um, but for right now it doesn't seem that uh, you're able to to make uh, select certain areas of your road which which is a little disappointing but but um, overall the device is good and also the software is good so I uh, hope you enjoyed my review video